Welcome to Cute eLearning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the chloride stress corrosion cracking. Description of damage Surface initiated cracking of 300 series stainless steel and some nickel based alloys. Under the combined action of tensile stress, temperature, and an aqueous chloride environment. It is also referred to as chloride cracking. As illustrated in figure, external cracking of type 304 series stainless steel, instrument tubing, under insulation. Affected materials. All 300 series stainless steel are highly susceptible. Duplex stainless steels are more resistant, but still susceptible. Nickel based alloys are highly resistant, but not immune. Critical factors. Chloride content, temperature, pH, tensile stress, presence of oxygen, and alloy composition are critical factors. Increasing levels of chloride increase the likelihood of cracking. Cracking usually occurs at metal temperatures above about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Stress corrosion cracking usually occur at pH values above 2. Oxygen dissolved in the water normally accelerates stress corrosion cracking. The greatest susceptibility occurs in stainless steels with a nickel content of 8% to 12%. Alloys with nickel contents above 35% are highly resistant. And alloys above 45% are nearly immune in refining applications. But cracking can still occur in severe conditions. Affected units or equipment. Most non-stress relieved 300 series stainless steel piping and equipment in any process unit are susceptible to chloride stress corrosion cracking at temperature above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. External chloride stress corrosion cracking has also been a problem on Insulated 300 series stainless steel insulated surfaces. When insulation gets wet at the operating temperature range 140 degrees Fahrenheit to 400, chloride cracking has occurred in water cooled condensers and on the process side of crude tower overhead condensers. Drains in hydro-processing units are susceptible to cracking during start-up shutdown. If not properly purged, cracking has occurred in boiler drain lines. Appearance or morphology of damage As illustrated in figures Surface breaking cracks can occur from the process side or externally under insulation. As illustrated in figures, characteristic stress corrosion cracks have many branches and may be visually detectable as spider web or craze cracking on the surface
as illustrated in figures. Metallography of crack samples typically shows branched transgranular cracks. Prevention, mitigation. Materials of construction resistant to chloride stress corrosion cracking should be used. Carbon steels, low alloy steels, and 400 series stainless steel are not susceptible to chloride stress corrosion cracking. When hydro testing, low chloride content water should be used f allowed quickly by thorough dry out a suitable coating should be applied to stainless steel piping and equipment prior to insulating avoid designs that create stagnant regions where chlorides can deposit or concentrate although not a standard or common refining industry practice. A suitable high temperature stress relief of 300 series stainless steel after fabrication will reduce residual stresses. Inspection and monitoring. Cracking may be either process side or external, usually under insulation that has become wet or where external water can collect, and it should be understood on which side the damage is occurring. In order to properly develop an inspection plan, chloride stress corrosion cracking may be detected using the following methods VT can be used to find advanced stages of cracking PT can be used for chloride stress corrosion cracking ECT inspection methods can be used on condenser tubes as well as piping and pressure vessels angle beam UT SWUT and PAUT from the opposite wall can be used for crack detection RT is often not sensitive enough to detect cracks except in advanced stages where a sufficient network of cracks has developed Related Mechanisms Caustic Stress Corrosion Cracking Polythionic Acid Stress Corrosion Cracking Brine Corrosion Summary Description Surface Initiated Cracking of 300 Series Stainless Steel and some nickel-based alloys under the combined action of tensile stress, temperature, and an aqueous chloride environment. Characteristic stress corrosion cracking have many branches and may be visually detectable by a craze crack tight cracks with a spider web appearance of the surface. Temperature range Cracking usually occurs at metal temperatures above about 140 F. Prevention Use resistant materials of construction, such as carbon steels, low alloy steels and 400 series stainless steel are not susceptible to chloride stress corrosion cracking. Reducing chlorine ion content, avoid concentrating mechanism. Inspection methods. VT can be used to find advanced stages of cracking. 
angle beam ut SWUT and PAUT. PT and ECT are the preferred methods. Practice time. Question number one. Most susceptible to chloride stress corrosion cracking is. Answer is B. Question number two. Chloride stress corrosion cracking in 310 stainless steel cracking usually occurs at metal temperatures above about. Answer is D. Question number three. Which of the following would be most resistant to chloride stress crack corrosion? Answer is A. Question number four. What metals are not susceptible to to chloride stress crack corrosion? Answer is D. Question number 5. Chloride stress corrosion crack damage may appear as. Answer is D. Question number 6. Which of the following will be prevalent in 304H stainless steel? Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.